valued at 8 million dollars oh, okay and already one company one venture capitalist have come to give 1 million uh huh now there's two more million needed do you okay. can you think of anything so uh, yes brother i mean are they adding uh, any other thing to your services like uh, it was a blood donation right i mean immediately a mobile blood donation no ambulance brother ambulance ambulance so they also want to add, uh, add uh, blood donation right i was yeah, already blood donation is there it you is giving the phone to brother so, sorry brother yeah hi harsha lenard here hello sir hi hi don't call me sir please ah okay brother <laughs> almost same age so you okay, can call okay. you can call me leo only <laughs> okay leo <laughs> okay yeah so see uh, we basically are the uh, primarily we into ambulances okay. right which is basically a paid service okay. which works similar to uber and ola model okay right but only difference is here we provide ambulance services across 15 cities okay right uh, we also that is the b2c model the b2b model is basically we tie up with hospitals and become their hospital transport partners okay right through a legal agreement mm-hmm. right we also have on our app because obviously we have a full fledged full scale app running mm-hmm. we also have a blood donations feature which helps donors connect with res- uh, requesters mm-hmm. but this is an absolutely free service we do not charge anything okay. because we believe we want to give back to the community okay right uh, we also in development uh, you know final stages of development of nutrition okay. right i'm sure you've heard of healthy fi me right yeah so we are creating something which is even though we they have got much more funding than us mm-hmm. right but still we are build, building something in terms of the app wise which is uh, at par with what healthify me has okay right so that's because i'm sure you know that an, an ambulance app will not stay on the phone every day yeah, right yeah why will people download an ambulance app yeah exactly so to, to keep our app relevant in people's phones yeah. that's is why we are also launching nutrition so that yeah. you know customers can get engaged more with the app yeah perfect right so that's also there in the pipeline which should be lo- i mean we should be going live with that in about 2 months time mm-hmm. this is now the testing phase that we're going on okay right so like already you know brother pravin told you so mm-hmm. currently we are almost ra- we are raising a uh, cap uh, you know investment of 1 million Mm-hmm. uh you know through a venture capitalist mm-hmm. it's basically you know angel investors okay but of course our need was 3 million okay right okay. but you know i'm sure you know that angel investors do not get into 3 million 4 million and stuff like that they only do up to 1 million yeah right so obviously we are looking out to you know uh, find any more you know uh, venture capitalist or whoever okay. and also who can invest in our organization mm-hmm. uh, and against that we would obviously provide them equity in the company okay right so that's that's the uh, little nut uh, a little uh, brief about us in a nutshell okay right uh, we are we are obviously expanding like crazy we are over 100 member team great right across the cities and uh, i mean obviously i the kind of work that we have because you know obviously god being the foundation of the organization okay. we have seen tremendous growth of the company the fastest okay. growth compared to any other provider i'm sure you must have heard of stand plus Yeah. who's our competitor right yeah so we have actually you know your startup launch actually in which I, year i started off in 2020 2020 right during yes. pandemic september yeah. yes okay right so after the pandemic a lot of people thought we started the company because we wanted to in cash in the pandemic but actually okay. in truth no we this we we built something which is a long sustained uh, you know sustained uh, build business mm-hmm. model mm-hmm. which is you know has a great potential in the in this industry because it's untapped okay right it's a disorganized industry so we want to you know ensure that we are able to bring some organization okay. into it and okay. get this you know corporate level uh, professional level as per you know us standards okay. because one of our partners actually is based out of the us okay all right so yeah i mean that's what it is we are looking out for funding now mm-hmm. so that we can continue our growth expansion our marketing activities mm-hmm. and of course our operational costs as well okay so okay. yeah that's what it is about us mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah suggestions any ideas come to your mind yeah any ideas in the sense uh, i will i will also try connect to some angel investors shall i yeah yeah please uh, because uh, yeah uh, mm-hmm. any new angel investor there. i mean uh, if they come forward if they i mean they will be liking the idea i mean we will be hang, having 1 million funding extra funding now the remaining mm-hmm. 1 million which uh, which is uh, due now mm-hmm. so We, we we should try to close everything in a month's time in a month's time okay and okay. you would also get your percentage yeah and uh, one more idea in the sense uh, uh, that nutrition carries there but that uh, anything related to physiotherapy i mean because people need physio um, basic physio yeah. exercises so, 
a lot yeah, actually we, we, we thought about that but we actually did not started that yet okay but you know i mean see at the end of the day if i be honest our aim is to become a one stop solution yes sir right? oh yes brother so, so that's what we want to do mm-hmm. so yes we have you right now you know i mean after praying and getting guidance from god we actually after the ambulance thing we thought of nutrition okay but yeah these are other aspects of the, as well that we want to actually venture out into mhm okay then uh, how are you reaching out i mean uh, how are you re- reaching out to your customers i mean are you directly going to the hospitals and uh, getting tied up or uh, how yeah so with b2b model we basically go to the hospitals we connect with the decision makers of the hospitals and you know talk to them and sign a legal agreement mm-hmm. like you know we're currently working with close to around 29 branches of different hospitals okay right so like we for example if i mention we are working with star we're working with shrikara we're working with amri mm-hmm. we're going to start work with uh, manipal Mm-hmm. you know uh, so there are quite a few hospitals that we work with so that is a b2b model mm-hmm. but of course since we are app based organization and also have a, a call center toll free number mm-hmm. so we have customers who actually book an ambulance even through the app as well, as well as calling our customer service as well okay then what is your revenue model because uh, are those hospitals also getting paid through you or uh, we is... we charge we charge the patients directly mm-hmm. right we don't build the hospitals because we don't want to add the strain to the hospital mm-hmm. so we actually build the patient for every trip okay for every trip okay yeah fine okay brother i will go through that uh, the entire brochure and i just yeah. give me some time and i will think and i will just get back to you give me some time sure. to just come up with few a few more ideas which you can also like and uh, try to implement and also if possible i will be also trying to connect some good uh, investors we can pitch before them so hatcha you okay, have the document na no? yeah yeah uh okay so i'm just creating a uh, connecting both of you okay so and i'll i'll resend the document there okay 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 brother okay, okay thank you thank you thank you yeah thank you yeah so uh, asha